of all, I would like to ask for your permission to use this video for educational purposes on internet. Yes, go ahead. Excellent. Now, tell me, um, what were your symptoms before we met? Before we met in June, I developed a slapping of my foot on the ground and I went to my doctor. And he called he, it foot drop, yes. He called it foot drop. Okay. He sent me to a neurologist mm -hmm. to get checked out. They and did an MRI. Did you have any other symptoms though before we go to MRI? I had zero pain. No pain. Okay. No and pain. That was unusual. We talked about that. We did. What about numbness tingling? I had I had no sensations of anything unusual at all except the foot drop. Okay, but you have diabetes, correct? I had diabetes. And so did you have any numbness tingling from the diabetes? Did you have a... No. So that the foot drop was the only symptom you had? I had been diagnosed with diabetic nerve neuropathy. Okay, okay. So you had a diabetes neuropathy. And so I didn't have any sensations in my feet or... Because of the neuropathy? Yes. Okay, and, and we thought that that is the reason you don't have the pain. I had zero pain throughout this whole diagnosis. I, I, got it, got it. Let me swing to the films and I will going to show you what we saw before the surgery that you have quite significant herniation of the disc here and here. And we see it again, a narrowing of the spinal canal. And again here, we see if this is normal, front, back, right, left, dots are the nerve. If we come down, there is significant narrowing as you see here. And here for both L5 and S1, and we decided uh, we wanted uh, to uh, do surgery. Now, tell me, you told me you came here because you thought you would be a candidate for OLIF. What did I tell you? You told me that OLIF may be in the future, but you were going to relieve the pressure from the spinal cord immediately, and that would be the first procedure. And that is a so-called laminotomy, which we have a, a, as well a paper in the internet that you can go and read about. So what we did actually just took the pressure off, not a fusion surgery, and uh, we took the pressure off in two levels without taking too much bone off. That procedure again is not a laminectomy, it's not a microdiscectomy, it's called the laminotomy. Now tell me about your foot, how is it doing now? Uh, when I'm sitting properly and not crossing my legs, when I get up to walk, 80% of my foot drop is gone. It's, yeah. it, I, I'm not tripping over cracks in floor <laughs> tile or carpeting or anything like that yes. anymore. On the medical side, your foot drop was uh, barely three of five is now four plus, which is a significant improvement. Now, um, as we talked, uh, that disc, these discs are in bad shape and they still may need something in the future, but we decided to do the smallest possible surgery. And so far, it seems that the smallest possible surgery has achieved our goal three so months far, after the surgery. So far, it's working well. Excellent. Well, thank my, you for your... My test will be when I get on my Harley Davidson in <laughs> another month, well, if I can shift <laughs> with my toe instead of my heel. <laughs> that, that sounds good, but you know, uh, not that I generally recommend that kind of stress on the spine, but that, that will be the test. Thank you for the interview.